Hi there. I just thought I would make a quick review or um, record initial thoughts of the Bobcat 1 from OEX. Um, now, I was trying to find reviews of this tent before buying it online. Couldn't find any reviews. Thought, well, maybe it's a brand new tent. Um, I was seeing, I was basically getting targeted ads on online um, and seeing pictures of it all the time. Uh, or maybe already having a single pole design tent in, in the Bericos 3.1. Um, and I really loved the colour in the ads. It was an olive green. Um, a bit like I've got an Oz tent, which is I would describe that as olive green. Um, it's kind of a pastely matte green. Um, it looks like it would absorb light. Uh, it's yeah, but the this is not olive green. I wouldn't call it olive green anyway. It's just green. Can't really see it here now that the sun's not on it, but. Um, it's certainly, I wouldn't call it olive green. Um, my second disappointment was getting it up. It was, it was, it says five minutes to get it up and I would say that it probably was only five minutes getting up or even less because I haven't done all the guy ropes. But um, it, it's... Uh, When, when I got it up, I discovered it's really rather small. Um, I had hoped, I had thought, well, if it is the colour in those ads, then um, if I can use the inner from the Bergkos, uh, then that would be great. Um, I thought it might be roughly the same sort of size, but they aren't really quite the same size so um, now I'll just show you the in terms of the height of usable height there's not much I know I've not got the, the wee uh, vestibule um, awning miniature awning out but it doesn't affect the inner uh, the inner only comes to to the ridge line, so uh, you can see there that it up at the top there. There's really a lot of unusable, unusable space inside, as opposed to the top of the barracos. Um and. Getting in, I'll just put this mat. I'm I'm five foot ten thereabouts, and a forty inch chest, and I just I can't even lie sideways. I can't I can't lie on my side without coming up against the inner. And I can't lie on my back without coming against the inner really um, you can see there there's a there's a bit of space for for, for putting that out but in comparison to the Berghoff you could almost fit two of these mats in here So, um, yeah, and obviously the Berghoff has got maybe a smaller vestibule area, and the vestibule on this has got a, a ground sheet, but I prefer, really, I prefer no ground sheet for the vestibule, for if I'm cooking or whatever. Um, and I really wouldn't call it 
a more usable space than what is in the in the Bercos. Um, yeah. Um, second, another thing worth mentioning is the inner door just sits down like that when it's open. Um, and it kind of gets bound up where the where the uh, the mesh meets the yellow material. Um, the outer door can be done from bottom to top or top to bottom, which could be quite handy. And there are eyelets there if you were to perhaps use walking poles to create a bit of an awning. Um, that could be quite handy. Um, but it's just too small. Inside it is far too small and as I say I'm an average size guy. If I knew, you know it's funny, in the ads, all the ads for the Berghaus, and I know from just double checking before doing this video, you can get all your specs online of the Berghaus, but um, if you put in OEX Bobcat 1 specs, you don't actually, all you get is are packed dimensions. Um, the first time I saw specs were when I got the tent and they were on the tag. And even, even they don't really give you an idea as to just how small the, the, the sleeping area is. The pack itself is, I would say, better than the Berkhoffs. Uh, it's a dry bag. It doesn't come with compression straps, but it does come with bits for compression straps. Um, whereas the Berghaus just comes with your traditional drawstring. Um, it does come with a repair kit, the Berghaus. That might be the 0 0.04 or 0 0.05 and the difference in weight. The Bobcat is 1.9 kilograms. The Berg horse is 1.94 or 1.95 kilograms. Um, the packed dimensions, the Berg horse is, uh, I think it's 48 centimeters long, whereas the OEX is 41 centimeters long. Actually, just noticing there, it says that the weight there is 1.94 kilograms. But online it says it's 1.9. Oh, that's strange. But I'm certain that the Berghaus is, well, I don't know. Um, it's the minimal anyway. But uh, One thing, the OEX is 5,000 hydrostatic head outer. The, you would have to get the Burkos 3.1 Pro to get 5,000 hydrostatic head outer. The basin of the of the standard 3.1 is uh, 5,000, but the outer is 3,000 hydrostatic head. Um, so that is definitely one up that the Bobcat's got. Um, but it's just, yeah, if I'd seen any reviews before, or if I'd, if I'd got any, if I'd been able to get more details on it, um, don't think I would have, uh, I think I would have bought it. So, um, hopefully, this review is of help to someone. Um, I'm sure it will be a great wee tent for some folk. Um, well, uh, just um, remembering now, also the there's no 
adjustment uh, for the ventilation, the bottom ventilation for the outer fly, the Bergkos, you can bring it right down to the ground or you can have you can have a bit of space, some ventilation, whereas there's there's nothing like that on on this. And also these tabs are pretty hopeless. Um, I'm just seeing there it is a YKK zip on it. I need to put it up. So you can have it zipped up to the top like that and then you can un unzip from the bottom. We've got that side pegged right. You can get in like that. So I guess you could use, if you just used one walking pole, if you just used one walking pole you could create yourself a bit of a usable space in there but yeah as I say the sleeping area is just a massive disappointment um, so hopefully this is of help to somebody okay thanks